Alright, ready to battle then, Josh? Yeah. Alright, let's let's get this battle started then. Hello everybody, it's JX member and Magnuson World member and the King of Spades himself. <laughs> Anthony J. Navarro. Uh, Magnezone 150 or Magnum 150 and here I am with a battle with a guy named Josh from uh, Cerebi.net of course that's where I always end up going so yes um, this battle is very interesting and I don't want to give it to you I don't want to give it away to you guys just yet how it, the outcome is so anyway so of course I start off with Weavile this time and I'm just like yeah I'm expecting a Will-O-Wisp so I switch out to Blaziken, and yeah, it was what my predictions told me was right. Which my little, like, side of me said, he's going to use it, I just know it, so I switched. But then he switches to Salamence, he's like, I'm just thinking, great, not a Salamence, why? So I switch, I try to, I do my move, of course, and it was Fire Punch, it didn't do much at all. I decided to switch out as soon as possible. And I switched to, well, I didn't really have any scapegoats, so I used Venomoth, but he missed with a Hydro Pump. I'm like, geez, so this guy's a special, isn't he? That's a Specsmen's probably, and I think that's what he told me during the battle, because we were having a voice chat battle, so it was like, oh, okay, cool. So, I try to use a Sleep Powder, but I miss, and he hits me with Hydro Pump. Now, of course, my Venomoth is always prepared for such a big, harmful hit, and it survives with 1 HP. So... What do I do now? Well, I decide to try the same tactic or switch were my two options. So I decided to go for the same tactic and try to put him to sleep, but he switches out to Lucario, so now I have his Lucario sleep. Of course, this is a standard level 100 battle, so I can't put another one of his Pokemon to sleep. So if he decides to switch out now and I use uh, Sleep Powder again, I'm pretty much screwed at this battle. Uh, pretty much I lose. So, I switch to Blaziken so that I can possibly use either Earthquake or Fire Punch or even Sky Uppercut to kick his butt. But instead he switches to Salamence because Salamence can, well, take all any of the three hits. So I'm just like, ah, oh, not again. I need an Escape Goat because I don't really have anything to counter it. So I try again with the same tactic I used before and I try to switch to Venomoth. I know that I can't put it to sleep, but I can at least use it as a scapegoat, or... But this was hilarious. He misses with Draco Meteor. I'm like, wow. I'm lucky, aren't I? So I took advantage of this. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should do a good move on him. Take advantage to take a nice hit, you know. Give him a nice hit. Put him down a few notches. But instead he switches to Lucario at the perfect timing, too. Ugh. Anyway, so... It's really funny how I was um, doing this battle because I happen to be talking to friends on the phone while I'm actually talking to him on voice chat and battling him at the same time. So I was pretty multitasking here in this battle. And um, let's see. And he switches to Salamence again. I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. How many times am I going to be switching between Blaziken and my, my Venomoth? I eventually caught on to his little games, so I decided to use Stone Edge this time, and I hit his elements, but it didn't do much, obviously, because my attack was lowered. So I'm just like, ah. Now, you must be wondering, the reason why I'm switching out my Blaziken so much isn't only because he's resistant, and because he could get killed by him, but also because he has a Choice Scarf, so he can only use the one move, which kind of sucks. So I try to switch to Venomoth, hoping he's probably going to use a funny move like, uh... Draco Meteor or Hydro Pump again and miss. And that'd be hilarious if he did. But he didn't. This time he caught on to my game too and used Flamethrower. So, here's Weavile. Pretty much, this time I wasn't being Einstein and using Fake Out on a Pokemon that knows Inner Focus, luckily. So I decided to do that and Ice Punch. Kaboom! Right in the face. Biatch! And I take him out. So, so far things are looking okay. They're not the best, but they're considerably alright. And that's good enough, I hope. He sends out Jacques, I mean Jacques, Shockzilla, jeez, well, what am I thinking about? And, um, Shockzilla, which is his Electivire, and I'm just like, oh, come on, why? So I'm thinking, okay, either a cross top or a, f or a Fire Punch is coming, I'm just like, screw this, and I just decide to use a Night Slash, hoping for a critical hit. 
and instead he uses Break Break. I'm like, well, it's not cross chop, but it's still something that will kill me in one hit. And it does, of course. And uh, there goes my Weavile. Of course, I found out that he's got a life orb, so I'm like, alright, that's cool. So whatever move I throw at him next doesn't matter, right? Now, this is what I like to do to Electivire. When Electivire is nice and low, and I know that Electivire doesn't have the best defense, so I always decide to use Bullet Punch when I send out my Metagross. But, for once, it failed. Yeah, you heard me. He's alive by, like, 1 HP. Apparently, he told me in the battle it was like 10 or something, I can't remember, or like 22. Damn, I don't remember. But anyway, he ended up dying from his own life orb, and he did a crap load of damage to my Metagross, so right off the bat, that tells you that this battle is going to turn out not too good because of stuff like that where I just can't take him out in one hit which is pretty lame I'm thinking wow that didn't kill him that stinks so either he had good defense or I have terrible attack but to me it sounds like he's got good defense so as soon as I saw the name Kiss Bliss I'm like ugh I'm scared now but no it was just a token kiss I'm just like ugh this sucks still and I go first, and I use a nice Meteor Mash. Of course, I have to survive. Like, come on, I'm not just going to let him kill me without me taking a hit on him. And he finishes me off with an Aura Sphere. Nice. Alright, now let me tell you this. From this point on in the battle... Actually, wait, let's just hold on just a moment before I keep going on. Okay, yeah. Pretty much from this point on in the battle, I decide to try my best to set up with... Because this is, of course, my Shiny Togekiss from, of course, uh, Diamond, and I decide to use Nasty Plot, try to set up, and he switches to a Blissey, which to me is, like, bad, but good at the same time, because then I can take advantage to use Nasty Plot. I'm, I'm expecting, at this point, I'm expecting a Toss and T-Wave, but no, it's got Ice Beam. And the most lamest thing happens, and I, that after this point, it all goes downhill for me in this battle because I decide to be the greatest and smartest Einstein in the world. I decide to use another nasty plot because I knew I could take another hit from Ice Beam and I was faster. But look! Look at that! Hacks and a half right there. I got frozen and murdered and pretty much raped right there. So then I've got my Blaziken left. I'm like, well, might as well try my best to get a good hit on him. But he switches, of course, to. Yeah. He switches to his Togekiss. I do a pretty good considerable amount of damage, but it wasn't enough, of course, I can't. So I switched to Porygon Z, quick, but he uses Roost, and at this point in time, I thought, yeah, I'm screwed, you know what, whatever move I use, I'm just going to end up doing nothing to it, so I'm just going to give up, you know, just, and I thought maybe I could just use that and flinch him, but no, it ended up doing so little damage, it was pitiful. I'm just like, wow. That is totally bad. And so, I switch to Blaziken, and, well, yeah. Boom. And a crit. Well, it didn't matter, because it was critical. Well, no. It didn't matter, because it was super effective. And I have low special defense. Anyway, um, so, Porygon Z, my last resort, I thought, yeah. And I was like, wait, my Thunderbolt did that much? Why didn't I use that from the beginning? Ugh, I'm smart. But anyway, that was the end of that battle. Good battle, Josh. Alright, well, I lost that battle. Oh well, what can you do? Good battle, so like I said, good battle, Josh. Rate, subscribe, and comment, and I'll just leave you with looking at these funny pictures. So, uh, yeah, see you all soon, and I will be back with more awesome videos, so stay tuned. Bye.